When Paula Lampton and her husband moved back to Maine in 2009, one day in July, they went for a walk near Spring Point Ledge Lighthouse in South Portland. We were just kind of walking around near where we got married over there and um, stumbled upon one of the first Try for a Cure opening ceremonies. She was blown away by the women, the celebration, and their inspiring stories. I have a, a strong history of cancer in my family. Uh, my mother and my aunts um, have all, are all cancer survivors. Um, so as soon as I was able to, I decided to, to sign up for the try. In 2012, when her daughter was just one, Paula did her first try for a cure. At first, it was just a way to, to get in shape, challenge myself, raise money for a great cause. But in 2019, it became even more personal when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. I actually found out the day that I found out that I had gotten to, into the try for a cure in the lottery. Um, so I had no idea what my treatment plan was going to be. Um, but I decided to sign up anyway, and I signed up as a survivor. That July, she was going through chemo, but she still did the try as a relay with her friends. Last year with the event virtual, she did the whole thing twice. Once with a friend who's also a cancer survivor, and another time with a group of friends. I just love how supportive the whole group is, and um, it's not a, it doesn't feel like a competitive triathlon. It feels just like everyone's there cheering each other on. While the swimming and biking will be virtual again this year, there will be an in-person 5K on July 18th for anyone who's raised $250, complete with a finish line. You just cross that finish line, and there's all these people cheering for you. Um, you just feel fantastic. In South Portland, Alice Keefe, WMTW News 8.